Hello friends. Today's topic is, Air Sampler. Air Sample is device used for collection of air sample. It is used in pharmaceutical industry for active air monitoring of air. Why air sampling is carry out? It is regulatory requirement and it gives idea of microbiological air quality in the specific area. The monitoring results are collected, analyzed and used for the improvement of cleaning plan. Air sampling method is time saving method so it is widely preferred. Types of air sampler Active sampling devices are categorized as First impact air sampler Second impingement air sampler and Third is filtration samplers air sampler Variety of impact and impingement samplers are available in market, but above selected device should have following characteristics. A. Impact velocity of the air hitting the culture medium that is compromised between 1. Being high enough to allow the entrapment of viable particles down to approximately 1 micro meter. 2. Being low enough to ensure viability of viable particles by avoiding mechanical damage or the breakup of clumps of bacteria or micromycetes. In simple language, the selection is depend on above two characteristics. First is, the sampler should capable to trap viable particles of minimum micrometer and second is, sampler itself should not damage viable particle at the time of sampling, it should not clumps of viable bacteria or micromycetes. Second characteristics of impact and impingement sampler is, the sampling volume that is a compromise between being large enough to detect low levels of biocontamination and being small enough to avoid physical or chemical degradation of the collection medium. It means sampler should collect large as well as small quantity of sample. If the chances of biocontamination is low then we have to sample large amount of air sample. And if biocontamination level is high, then we have to sample minimum sample quantity. In areas of high biocontamination, the impaction method and sample volume should be selected, in way appropriate to achieving separate colonies, to allow the results to be interpreted. If biocontamination is large and we sample large volume of air then, the results on plates are crowded, and we are unable to count colonies. Selection of a sampling device before selecting the sampler let's understand the points to be considered. First is, type and size of viable particles to be sampled. Imagine the particle size to be sampled, the selected sampler should capable to sample small as well as large particles. Second is sensitivity of the viable particles to the sampling procedure. The selected air sampler should should be capable to work as per requirement. It should able to give correct results if used as per predefined SOP. Third consideration is, expected concentration of viable particles. As discussed in previous slide, sampler have facility of minimum and maximum sampling to achieving separate colonies, to allow the results to be interpreted. Fourth is, ability to detect high or low level of biocontamination. Sampler should be able to detect very low level of biocontamination and for that it should have facility of maximum A sampling volume. Fifth is appropriate culture media. Sampler should not impact on culture media plate and plate shall be easily placed or removed. Sixth is time and duration of sampling. Time is very important because, if sampler is continuously worked then it may lead to extra air sampling. To avoid this problem, proper time adjustment with auto on and off facility also required in the air sampler. Ambient condition in the environment being sampled. Air sampler should work at ambient temperature and in low and high temperatures also. Eighth point to be considered for air sampler selection is, 
distribution of unidirectional airflow by sampling. Apparatus The selected air sample should capable to distribute air uniformly and unidirectionally. Uneven distribution leads to false negative results. Ninth consideration is, sampling properties such as, appropriate suction flow rate for low levels of viable airborne particles. The air sampler should have different flow rate and with different sampling time. It help user to adjust the time and volume as per biocontamination occurrence chances. Tenth point is, appropriate impact slash airflow velocity. Suitable airflow velocity is necessary to sample and stick biocontamination on agar plate. It should not be too high or too low. Eleventh consideration is, collection accuracy and efficiency. The collection and accuracy must be okay, sampler should collect exact sampling volume with efficiency. Sampler itself should not modify results by means of damage to bioload or breaking of bacterial clumps. Twelfth consideration is, ease of handling and operation. The sampler must be of low weight and of small size. It should be easy to operate. Thirteenth point to be considered is, ease of cleaning and disinfection or sterilization, and possible intrinsic addition of viable particles, to the biocontamination to be measured. Fourteenth consideration is, the exhaust air from the sampling apparatus should bot contaminate the environment being sampled respirated by the sampling device. Impact and Impingement Sampler These device should meet the following minimum requirements. First, sufficient flow rate to collect 1 cubic meter in reasonable time, without significant drying of the sampling medium. Means the time required to sample 1 cubic meter should be nominal and during this time, media should not get dry. Second, appropriate air impaction speed to the culture medium. Sampling speed should be suitable which allow collection of viable particles on agar plate. Filtration sampling Filtration sampling devices are widely used for air sampling. By appropriate choice of pump, filter medium, and filter size, Almost any desired sample quantity can be collected in a given sampling period. For the design and use of a filtration sampling device the following factors should considered. Factors should considered. A. Ensure that the filtration condition do not affect the viability of the microorganism collected for example, by dehydration. The filtration condition should not get easily dry while sampling. Filter should not show adverse effect on growth of viable particles. B. Eliminate static, electricity that will interfere with the rate of impact of viable particles onto the filter membrane. Static charge or electric charge do not interfere the sampling method and viable particle impaction. C. Apply the same constraint or suction flow rate and impact air velocity. The sampling rate and impact velocity should be appropriate. D. Ensure that the filter membranes can be placed aseptically in the filter holder, can be removed aseptically after filtering the desired quantity of air can be placed on solid culture medium or in liquid culture medium.
as we know the types of air sampler and how to select the proper air sampler. Now, let's understand, how air sample work. The air sample is drawn through a perforated sampling head at constant speed for a variable time dependent upon the nature of the environment to be monitored. The airflow is designed for maximum impaction of airborne contaminants onto a plate containing media optimized for microbial detection. Once the sampling is finished, the plate is removed and incubated. At the end of the incubation period, the plate colony count can be obtained to evaluate the contamination level. In simple language the sampler has a porous mesh. Behind that the agar plate is placed and just behind that plate the fan is placed. The fan suck the air through porous mesh in uniform direction. The air come in contact agar plate, and eliminated from backside of sampler. After completion of sampling the plates are incubated and observed for growth. Result should be calculated as per manufacturer's instructions and formulas. Result should be calculated as per manufacturer's instructions and formulas. Remember following guidelines of United States Pharmacopeia. As per USP chapter number 797, a sufficient volume of air that is 400 to 1000 liters shall be tested, at each location in order to maximize sensitivity. And sampling shall be performed at least semi-annually, that is, every six months as part of the recertification of facilities and equipment.
Advantages of Active Air Sampler 1. It allows for both qualitative and quantitative analysis of the sample. 2. Allows for faster results as devices used for this method allow for a shorter sampling period such as 10 minutes. 3. Ideal for controlled areas as they tend to have a low microbial concentration. Cleaning and Maintenance of Air Sampler Air sampler should be cleaned before and after use with validated disinfectant. Autoclavable parts must be autoclaved before use. Always keep in provided briefcase to protect from damage. Thanks for watching video on air sampler.